Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. It's time to save this little blue crab over here. I don't really know why he needs to be saved. Uh, he's just kind of sitting there, just eating, eating away at the dock. He looks, he looks just very um, content with life, I guess. Um, but we'll save him, and then uh, we'll make our way and try to find some restraint. Uh, for Swain up there, because he's kind of still being a jerk after we defeated his nightmare. Uh, so we'll do that after we uh, we see what's up with this blue crab. All right, blue crab, what's up with you? Speak to me. Oh, uh, we gotta cast that thing, Mr. Drippy. Is it just me, or does this crab look like it has something to say? Er, let me see. Nope, I reckon it's just you. <laughs> Gee, are you sure? It looks so chatty. What should we do? Flippin' heck, mun. Uh, you're... What? You're supposed... Supposed... Uh, to be the wizard? Get your wand out and cast a spell, ain't it? Uh, that's right. We do have a spell for that, don't we? Uh, nature's tongue. Here we go. Speak to me, crab. Warg! What am I going to do? Jeepers, you... You seem pretty shook up. What's the matter? Warg! Uh, you can understand what I'm saying? What a stroke of luck. I was hoping somebody like you would scuttle along. Would you mind helping me out with something? Uh, what kind of something? It's my friend. He was swept away by a huge wave a few days ago. Please, you have to find him. I'd look for him uh, myself, but I'm too shell-shocked. I get it. Everybody's a comedian, Blue Crab. Uh, okay. Uh, we can try to do that. Well, do you know which direction he went in, at least? Hmm, good question. I think the tide must have carried him to the east. Uh, but I couldn't tell you any more than that. Alright. I just thought, with that ship of yours, you were the perfect people to go and look for him, you know? I guess so. Alright, Mr. Crab. We'll go find him. Uh, what? Sorry. We'll go find your friend for you. Wow, cracking news. Thank you. Uh, okay. Well, it seems like we're gonna need a ship for that one, so maybe we can't, uh, we can't do that. Um... There are definitely, hey, a little a blue crab. There are definitely, like, other crabs around here. Like, this crab over here. Look, you can be friends with that crab. Why can't you just be friends with different, uh, different crabs? You know? Uh, you don't have to, you can forget about all your other crab friends. Just make new crab friends. That's fine. Um. Okay, so it looks like maybe that, is that the cat's cradle? Uh, the star mission? I think that's where we're headed. Uh, so we can get some restraint for Swain. And hopefully we can finally get on this boat at some point. Come on now. What's going on? I've been wanting to get on this boat for quite some time. It's been a real long while. Ooh. Is it the... It's the mayor. Or governor. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, so it's the governor, huh? He's the one with restraint to spare, is it? Of course he is. Mun makes sense, ain't it? Think how patient he had to be to get them all to come round to his bathing suit idea. Is something troubling you, friends? Oh, I see that you are not wearing your ba- Oh, no, we're gonna get jailed. He's gonna throw us in the jail. I forgot to put on the bathing suit. <laughs> Oh, I see that you're not wearing your bathing suits. Did you tire them out so soon? No, sir. It's nothing like that. We were just about to board a ship and leave town. That's all. Oh, a ship, you say. So you're, uh, you are dressed for travel, uh, travel, I see. But our letter of passage was stolen, and now we need to ask you a favor, Mr. Governor, sir. I am sorry to hear of your misfortune... What do you require of me? If it is within my power, I will do it. Thank you very much, Mr. Governor, sir. Uh, we need you to help us save something. Or somebody. Coming to the aid of one in need, a very worthy goal. But to help him, we need your strength, sir. No, we need your restraint. Not your strength. My strength? Yes, sir. We need to give him back a piece of his heart that's missing. No. One of the heartbroken in our town... This cannot be. Well, Governor, I hate to break it to you. There was actually two instances of that. Uh, there was another person that was heartbroken. Uh, the lady, the wife of the husband and wife traveling merchant couple, if you guys remember from last episode. I digress. Uh, know what they are, uh, do you? 
Tiny, then we'll make this quick. As you can see, this young man here by here is a wizard. A wizard who can mend the brokenhearted, no less. By the beards of the mighty. And the person we want to help has lost his powers of restraint. You have such incredible patience and forbearance. Governor, would you mind sharing some of it to help mend someone's heart? Hmm, this is unexpected, but of course. Tell me what I must do, and I will do it. Neato, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Governor. Tidy, on with the show, Wally boy. Alright, you just stand there, and I'm gonna rip out a piece of your heart. Thank you, really appreciate that. The power all to res resist the demon of temptation. Nice, that was easy enough. What is this curious sensation? My heart, it feels so much lighter. Does this mean I have successfully shared a piece of it with you? It sure does. Nice work, Ollie boy. Let's go help out. Now, let's go help out that broken-hearted fellow by the dock, shall we? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Governor. I hope to see you here in Castaway Cove again soon, young man. Wearing your bathing suit, of course. Nice, thank you. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead to do a little, let's do a little snooze. Uh, because, uh, Oliver is pretty, like, healed up, but, um, Esther is missing some of her MP. So we'll take a nap. We'll wake up freshed, freshed, <laughs> fresh and ready. Uh, for the day's events ahead. The governor is still standing there, of course. He just kind of chills out. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's get going. Get out of here. All right, and we're off. So, hopefully, <laughs> we can finally board this stupid ship and get on with our journey. It's just kind of been sitting here like this guy the captain Simba is just like what the heck is going on like let's get this show on the road uh damn it all hey you can't curse in this game uh I thought I told you to leave me alone flipping heck man he's really starting to get on my wick he is sort him out will you Ollie boy of course give heart restraint there take this Hmm, what did you just do to me? Hey, give that back. What's the matter? It's just a portrait of some pretty boy. No need to get your knickers in a twist. It's important. It must be. Why would you steal it if it wasn't? Let's just say I can't have it doing the rounds. Tell you what, I'll buy it off you. That's fair, right? No! It's not for sale! We need it! Oh yeah? Need it for what? Go on, this should be good. If I tell you, will you give it back? Uh, I might. It's a picture of one of the great sages. We need to find him. He's gonna help us defeat Shadar. You what? <laughs> what did you just say? We're going to defeat Shadar. All of us, together. And we reckon this great sage might have some proper powerful magic in it. Ollie Boy is gonna need it. Okay, we told you why we need it. Now give it back. <laughs> <laughs> you lot think you can take down Shadar? <laughs> and you want to drag Pretty Boy here into it too? We sure do. And he'll help us. I just know he will. You must be even more gullible than you look. That, or you're just plain stupid. You realize nobody stands up to Shadar and survives, don't you? Nobody. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, you don't stand a chance. I think we do. Eh? Oliver made my father, Rashad, believe again. And he saved me, too. Rashad? What? The great sage? Rashad? The very same! And he's itching to take Shadar down now. You're joking. If Rashad is... We're not joking. Fine. I give up. 
I can't believe I'm saying this, but you lot have got me half convinced. All right, I'll take you. I'll show you where to find him. Hey. What? You know him? Yeah, a bit. Nido, thanks so much. Um. I'm Swain. Good to meet you, kiddo. I'm not a kid. I'm Oliver. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. Good to meet you, Oliver. I'm Esther. Dippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. <laughs> so, I guess we should set sail, huh? This is so exciting, Oliver. Do we have a new party member now? Oh, uh, while we're doing the introductions, out you come, boy. Oh, does he have a familiar too? Uh, what, what the heck is that thing? <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> it's like, it's like a... The bottom half is like a robotic chicken, and then the body is like that one, um, that one Looney Tunes character, uh, the big red furry guy. I don't even know what the, the head is. <laughs> it's like a dwarf or something. Alright, I'm so sorry, Swain. I don't mean to make fun of your familiar, but what the heck, man? <laughs> uh, meet my familiar. What? You have a familiar? Uh, you didn't steal it, did you? No, I did not. Thank you very much. He's my familiar, fair and square. And he packs a punch and a half, I can tell you that. Swain and his familiar have joined your party. Fantastic. Um, I don't know, hopefully he'll be a little bit more useful than Esther, <laughs> to be honest. Hmm, there's something I don't quite trust about this Swain character. He's hiding something. Esther, are you just gonna say it right in, in uh, to his face? But it sure will be neat to have another friend on our journey, especially uh, one with a familiar. Hey, I'm not just some idiot with a familiar, you know. How about I show you what else I can do, since you don't seem to think I'm up to munch. Aha! Just what we need? That chest will do perfectly. Oh! Can Swain open chests from a distance? That would be awesome. <laughs> Oliver, move around so you're closer to that chest over there, will you? Give me a shout when you've got a good, clear view of it. I'm going to show you something that'll knock your socks off. Uh, there's a couple chests. Okay, so we can move closer to it. Prepare to be impressed, boys and girls. <laughs> Here goes. Oh. Now listen here, you see how far away that I am from that chest? I do. Pretty far, right? And wouldn't think I'd have a hope of reaching it, would you? Well, that's where my pickpockets pistol comes in. I just use the right stick to lock onto the target and then press A to fire. Simple, eh? Of course, the nice thing about treasure chests is that they never run away. Uh, they're what's known in the trade as easy marks. Right then, here goes nothing. Okay, so what, we just aim and then fire? Interesting. Fling, a uh, fling flame gem. Neato. Not bad, eh? I don't get my hands dirty walking up and fiddling around with locks up close. The real professional uh, professionals just take aim from a comfortable distance and pocket the plunder with a pull of the trigger. Professional what's exactly? Oh, shut up with the goody goody stuff, will you? He'll be proper useful to have on side uh, this one. Friends, we will soon set sail all aboard. Aye, aye, Captain. Come on, everybody. Let's go. All right. You lot don't hang about, do you? Fair enough. Let's get moving. Tidy. Time to see, uh, see the sea at last. Yeah, it's been quite a long time, uh, but it's going to have to wait uh, for yet another episode. Um, I thought that that would be a little bit quicker. I didn't realize. Uh-oh. Hang on a second. What are we taking here? Hang on, just a minute. Uh, it hurts me not. Are you alright? Oh yes, I am fine. I tripped over the decking, uh, grazing my knee, but it hurts me not. You sure about that, Mun? Looks pretty flippin' painful to me. It looks pretty bad. Most kids would be crying their eyes out right now. Then perhaps I am unlike most children. Father told me that boys do not cry, and so I promised him that I never would. So you're holding it all in, huh? To keep your promise, I mean. I tell you what, Ollie boy, 
This lad's heart is brimming with restraint. Why did we have to go to the governor if this guy, this kid had some restraint, like a couple feet away from where Swain was? Uh, look at your locket, all aglow. Gee, you're right. Say, uh, would you mind helping us out with something? You require my help? Certainly, yes, but what do you wish me to do? Oh, you don't have to do anything. We just want to borrow some of your restraint. My restraint? I do not understand, uh, completely, but it sounds fun, I suppose. Please, go ahead. Thanks, this will really help us out. Uh, give heart. Oh, wait, shoot, wrong one. Take heart. Prank heart, that's what I wanted to do. I thought that this kid would have some enthusiasm so we could do the Sheik of Spice quest, but oh, apparently not. Uh, kind of annoying. I don't know where we get some enthusiasm to finish that errand. Uh, you know, my knee feels better, I think. Perhaps it was that spell you cast. Fantastic, all right. Um. Hey, so uh, maybe next episode we might not board the ship yet. I am so sorry. We've waited this long. We can wait uh, maybe just a little bit longer. But I think there's some. Uh, there, there's probably going to be some errands. It looks like there's one new glowing blue circle uh, on the map here in Castaway Cove. So I just want to make sure that we're uh, grabbing all of the uh, all of the errands and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see where the uh, we'll see where the next episode takes us. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and a comment below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed already. I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys on the next episode.